a stuffed bunny. So I'm going to draw a bunny and do my best to make her proud. <laughs> and I really love her work. So I'm kind of just one is like, you know, this is kind of reminds me of something that I'm what I'm trying to come across anyways is something that she would have I'm not sure with. exactly how I'm going to do the ears, if I'm going to separate them or not. Hmm. That's something. I'm going to draw out the bunny the best I can think of how. He kind of looks like a kangaroo, though. I don't know. And... He looks like a chihuahua face. i got too many chihuahuas. <laughs> and, um... Okay, try to round off his head. Looks like a little apple head chihuahua. <laughs> Oh, let's see here. I'm going to put eyes so then I, I could see that it's a bunny and I'm not like thinking chihuahua all the time here. This, this is just for my pattern, um, guys, but for me to look at it in a way of, uh, this is a bunny, I'm going to have to do a little bit of um, making it look bunny-esque. <laughs> okay, so I think that one of my problems is I have too much whatever I'll fix that up later okay so what I'm going to do is have some bunny chest little legs coming down here these little legs I don't know these ones look a little pathetic but and I'll have to work on the shape a bit because I don't want pointy pointy um, pillow this might be not large enough on the face either, but we'll work it. I'll work it. So, and I need to put a big old foot and a fluffy tail, however that's going to work. And so it's looking more bunny-ish. If one of my fat chihuahuas were to sit like a bunny <laughs> and put a little curly tail, it might go. Anyway. Um, I think her her or his ears are too big. So I'm trying to draw a little bit of the bunny this way here, like the way I'm doing it, just because I want to fit. See, I'm fixing it up by as I'm making it um, look more realistic. It helps me kind of get the look down because I'm like trying to imagine a bunny, but you can't, for me, I can't draw just the outside edge without having a little bit of adding um, what the inside would look like to kind of help me fill it out. So I'm thinking that's about it. Um, that's very cute. And I'm hoping his ears are big enough. That's upside down. Hey, that still draws on the end, huh? I guess it's all, um, so I'm going to give him a little bit of a rounder forehead so it doesn't look like a little deer head, um, chihuahua. Maybe it looks a little bit more bunny-ish now. It's, I want it to look a little realistic, but I mean, it's just going to be the body. It's just the outside edge that we're getting, really, because when we're doing a stuffy bunny, we're not going to see all what I drew in here, right? I'm just, for me, for my inspiration, I suppose that's all that's for. So this is my bunny. So I'm making him a little bit chunkier as I play. And... I'm not sure how that's all going to come across here when I do this pattern. But I know. So this is kind of my pattern of the bunny. And see if he were to be drawn, he'd have more of a detail. He'd have more like jawline, all that kind of stuff. But see, I do this and then I kind of get the inspiration of the outside of his body. More, right? That's for me. That's for me. And his tail would actually be more. His tail's not really like a white 
I mean, it's not really like a ball, but there. Now I'm going to cut out my bunny. Here is my bunny um, pattern. I have the second ear still on here. I cut it off. Okay, so I have two pieces of burlap like this. What I'm going to do with my bunny is I'm going to trace him. And I'm going to probably do him in a, a brown marker. Now, do I have a brown marker? I have gold. I have I have a brown one of these. Don't kill me. I know they're expensive. I did buy them, start buying them for stamping, and then I decided I just don't couldn't afford to buy them anymore, and so I don't use it. So it's brown, and yeah, I know it's it sounds, seems wasteful, but I'm going to now trace my bunny. with a brown so then it's in case it shows it won't be so bad and it'll look better than just a dark black showing up on there and now I'm going to have to do my other side of my bunny Trace that side. Oh, my bunny, my bunny. Oh, I love the bunny. You guys know where that song's from. <laughs> oh, my kids love that. The bunny, bunny. Okay, so now is the next bunny. And what we're going to do now. As I'm going to take some fabric glue um, or like tacky glue and that kind of thing so I have this that glues to anything and what I'm going to do is I am going to glue all along this bunny and on the other side right where I cut out now this is how my bunnies look and they're gonna be drying they're all glued so it's going to be no fraying so now we wait for them to dry we help them along a little bit but not too crazy and if we see any spaces we just kind of go over that we don't want no fraying we just fix that up so we don't lose the bunny and there we go we continue to do this The next part we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting um, some of the burlap away from the bunny. And we're going to leave about, ooh, I don't know, like an inch. Whoa. I'm just adding a little bit more of uh, glue on the inside of this. Or right over, a little bit more on the inside of what I have already on the bunny. Now this glue is meant to dry clear and you'll need something that will dry clear. And I'm not going to glue the bottom till the very end. I'm just going to go around his foot but I'm going to stop right there. Now what I'm going to do is put my bunnies together. You can sew these bunnies if you wish. I'm using the tacky glue as a sewing. So if you sew them, you still have to put them together with glue to um, get the bunny to not come apart, um, the, the burlap not to fray. So, and if you traced your bunnies, your glue line should match perfectly you just gotta kind of check it out and then I leave I left a space at the bottom and now we just gotta let our fur bunnies um, dry 
just like that. Um, the reason why I glued it first is just to have it double secure so it makes sure a thin line of glue just to make sure that the fray doesn't come up hard somewhere in here if we didn't seal it totally when we were putting it together. So then we can kind of look at it and everything. That's my theory. So that's the way I wanted to do it. I'm kind of just make it up as I go along. So if you can find a better way, then yeah. But this is the way I think it's going to work for me. So now we just let it dry clear. Also, while you're letting it dry, put a piece of um, something in here. that So then your two pieces that you have glued here don't seal together. So I'm going to put a piece of uh, cutting board here that I have. And I'm just going to stick it right there and it will not now seal together and the rest of this can seal. You can help it along with your um, heat tool and that kind of thing. You don't want bubble glue to come out and all that kind of stuff but there you go. Now this is how my bunny is looking. Pretty cute I think. Um, I'm hoping that I didn't glue his ears closed or anything. I have a dowel, a piece of dowel and I'm just going to check to see how I did so his ears are pretty good and his nose has got a little pocket there his tail's got a little pocket even his foot's got a little pocket so it's perfect um it would take a while for the glue to cure and go um clear but before that I'm not gonna wait that long I probably have to wait till tomorrow so that's looking good though so what I'm going to do now with Mr. Bunny is I am going to stuff the bunny. You guys are probably wondering what I'm doing. I'm going to stuff the bunny next. And instead of stuffing him with uh, something white, because then you're going to see all this white right through. Can you see that white? I'm going to stuff him with some of uh, this raffia. So I got this raffia at uh, Walmart in the floral craft section. So I'm just going to stuff the bunny with some of this. So then it matches the um, burlap. And uh, I think it's gonna be really cute. So I'm just gonna kind of get my, and it's gonna be really rustic. So I'm gonna get my bunny's bottom open and I'm gonna start stuffing it up in there. And you notice that I haven't turned him inside out. I'm not doing that with this one. So I'm just going to carefully stuff my bunny. And be patient. I'm going to use a dowel that doesn't um, is not quite sharp and catches on all these little squares here. Before I've used skewers and they're a little bit more pointy. Well this time I really want to be careful because it, it'll catch on that no problem. I want something that's not going to catch on those these squares and tear the square open more and that kind of thing because that would not look as cute not nearly look as cute as as it, it would if I didn't do that so now I'm going to work on his ear sticking some raffia up, and I'm going to be very patient see how it's coming in and you can't even tell like there's no white coming through except for the glue like I said that's going to go away so just keep stuffing, just keep stuffing and keep filling his ear slowly. And um, there's other creatures that I really want to do this way too. So, but I'm going to show you, I might make more videos because I'm really loving this one. I'm like, yeah, I'm really loving this one. Just love the whole look. So I'm stuffing him and just seeing how that's going to go. That's so far how it is. Pretty good. And I could stuff more. And that's almost a whole pack, one pack of raffia that is what I'm stuffing in him. So that's like a whole pack right here. So he's stuffed really well. And I'm just going to keep checking, making sure I'm not pulling them apart more. Nope, I'm doing good. Since there's a little bit of um, here that glued, I'm just going to make sure and hold it. I have unglued them in the past. 
and now I'm going to stuff. Now, if I can't get any more in, I could just cut the raffia right there and, you know, be done with it. So I'm just going to try to really get it in good. It's kind of like stuffing a scarecrow, and I think that's what it, I really like about it. Um, I think that's what, yeah, when I thought about doing this, um, I'm like a little scarecrow bunny. <laughs> and um, we can do all sorts of characters so I get them all in there I'm just gonna kind of massage my bunny spoiled bunny and then stick it in now I'm going to now at the end here make sure I get the feet and the tail so here's his tail I've got to make sure I leave room for his tail but once we get it all in there, we can kind of massage some of it back. Here's his foot. So we've got to make sure it's sealed here. I'm not pushing too crazily hard that he's not sealing up. So now we pretty much just got to uh, glue the bottom. And there's our bunny kind of massage him away and just work him a little bit. I just glued the bottom of this ah, bunny and then I'm going to kind of massage him to get the some of it to come down to the bottom a bit more. Um, so I just added the tech of glue along the trail of dried glue there that I had and now I'm just because of the pressure of the stuff being stuffed I'm going to add so now what I'm going to do I'm kind of laying them dry but as I'm doing that I'm going to kind of start picking at these pieces and pulling it apart up to where it's glued lovely box from uh, sorry guys super bath I know happy in a giveaway and I'm going to look through it for some buttons for an eye for my bunny so I'm gonna try to see if I can find something Whoa. I might have found one that just fell it just jumped out for me nope it's a little bit of a different this one here has a uh, shank on it. I want to look like I want to find another one with it as well. So in moving things around, let me move this up here. Patterns on it. I cannot find. I hope you guys can see this. It's not too blurry. I can't find my sewing kit. And I thought maybe I could just sew it through. What I'm going to do is I'm going to invent another way of sticking the eye on. That is, I'm just going to string it. Going to string it. And, 
tie a couple of knots in here. You guys must think I am crazy. I think I'm crazy. Let's see if this will work. And I have a crochet hook. So I'm going to go through to the other side where Where should his eye be? Right about here. So I'm going to go through on the other side here. And I'm just going to bring this baby up. And, uh, oops. Do that, do that again. I'm kind of doing it a crazy way, but. So we'll see if this works. So I'm going to bring this baby up. Maybe I'll tie it one more time. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't come off undone. So this is kind of my cheat. So I'm going to crochet it in. I'm going to bring this baby up through the hook. It's a very small hook and it's a lot bigger uh, piece of string so I'm not sure if that will work. Use a bigger hook. I guess it doesn't matter because these are pretty large. Uh, holes in here. Just don't want to get it stuck. So I'm going to pull the string through and then I'm just going to tie it around the second um, eye and that's what I'm going to do. Kind of I hear it that way. So I got one eye on this side and invent a way to sew the eye on. <laughs> it's not going to be childproof. But it'll work. So I'm just going to kind of grab it with my hook. Pull it through. Wrap it around a couple of times. I think it should work. We'll see here. And tie a knot. If I can. Mm, might not work with that knot like that. Well. Straighten out my knot. Sort of got it in there the way I want it. Would be nice to have it a little bit more tight around. I can glue the bottom. There is my bunny eye. My other bunny eye. He's more taut than this guy. So I'm going to have to do something. I might have to undo this knot. Thing. Well, it did work. I just... What I did was I crocheted the loop through to the inside because I couldn't untie it to straighten out that loop. But it is tied on there and he's nice. This one is nice. He's on there. This one's much more tug, snug. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw a little bit of glue on the back of it to just ensure it. And then, because I mean just putting glue on it, just glue will not work. Whoa. My glue was plugged and now it's not. <laughs> That's funny. And then I just put a little pressure on there and I was just like, whoa. But if I were to glue it just like that, I don't think it would stay. But with the it being stitched in or crocheted in, as in the weird way that I just did it, I'm sure you guys can find your sewing kits and um, put a stitch through both sides. But that was my made up version <laughs> of doing that. Okay, I'm gonna let this glue dry. So here's my bunny so far. I'm really happy with uh, it. 
a few more details I want to add. Just realize I got more edges to like around the neck kind of to get more coming apart here. But anyway, so I got the eyes secured and I want to add a little bit of a trim right here, I'm thinking. Around his neck. I was thinking, anyway, right here. And, uh, going to do that with my tacky glue. I think that just adds a little bit more. And this is like a burlap root. It's a jute ribbon, but it's like, looks like the, you know, the burlap. So I think it's cute. Um, going to add that to both sides and just kind of embellish them a little bit. I'm going to cut it a bit, a little bit long. And there goes one. One side. And do the other side. And I think I might shade her up a bit or him up a bit with a little bit, maybe a little bit of watercolor. You could use marker or something. I don't know. And just add a little bit of dinge and, and shading to it next, I think. So I'm going to put the loops actually down. And that's a boat. Where the other guys the other side is so I got kind of two sides happening here and I'm deciding that I want to put this is the side I kind of originally had drawn I wanted to put a little charm in there so I think I was going to use a bit of uh, this for the charm so I'm going to try to see if I can get this charm in here and then I'm just going to glue a little something in there, embellishment or something. We'll see if I can get that done. I might have to add just a little jump ring to it. I'm adding a bit of a jump ring to the charm. I just opened up the jump ring. I'm going to close it with my hand. I don't even need the tool. It's a little bit of a larger one. I don't even need tools for this one. And now I'm ready to stick this on. I think I'm just going to stick it on right there. And I'm going to grab it with the crochet and see how that looks. It might look good, hopefully. If I can't wrap it right around, it'll look quite odd. So if I grab it with the crochet and pull it through, I might be able to do that. So just gotta kind of grab it. I might need a bigger one. Don't want it too big. I don't want it to I gotta be very careful. I don't want to make a big hole in it. I'm just going to grab it and try to pull it through. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It worked for the other piece, so it may work for this if I'm careful enough not to tear it apart. Okay. Pushing it. Oh, sorry guys. Pushing it through. I got the end of the crochet in there. I can't see the size, but it all depends on what size your burlap holes are really. So then I got this one in there. And then I'm going to pull it up this way. And 
pull through my raffia if I can see what I'm doing. It's really hard to get it on the video guys so I'm kind of having it further away from me if I were doing it just like this. There. So I hope you guys caught that. It's kind of hard like I said to pull it and then push the end that I know is not going to tug at too much. There we go. Now I'm going to tie a little bow and I'm going to glue a little picture in there or something like that. I think I'll tie a knot first and then a bow. Sometimes I like to tie just a bow but the raffi is a little slick. tight look at it, see make sure it's good not too tuggy because I could always loosen it up a bit make a bowl I hope this guys this is not too crazy long I was not gonna put a bow on the bunny but it's just so darn cute Couldn't help it. Just so darn cute. So there is my little bunny bow. And I'm going to trim that up. And there is my dangle. And that's cute. This side I can add a bow to it. Just with tying it there like this. A little easier than the first part, but hey. It was fun experimenting and trying it. Now we're just going to cut his little ends off. And with the raffia, it is going to be difficult to uh, make it very, very tight. So you just got to kind of play with it and then give it a little bit of glue after. So then I'm going to touch it with a bit of glue to seal that so it doesn't come undone because it's so slick. And that will dry clear. And that's going to do the same with this one because, I mean, I'm telling you, it's going to undo. So... It will undo, and you won't be happy with it. So it's going to dry clear, though, so it won't undo now. I'm not sure if I told you I got this uh, jute ribbon from Dollarama. So just letting you guys know. Anyway, now this guy's so perfect, but that's a little bit of a problem for me. So this is where Sonia's influence kind of got to me, where the gringe it up a bit. I'm going to use a twist sticks. I'm going to test it on a spare um, piece here. And let's see like how we can grunge this up a bit safely. So what I'm going to do is use a spare piece here. And just kind of like see how it looks. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm liking that brown. See if I would have done that, that might have made me unhappy. The gold. Uh, gold's kind of okay. Oh, I'll just leave that. I'm done. I don't know why I keep closing that lid. And I might have to move to another medium. Let's see if I can find my black twist stick. And I'm even like going on the edges and that kind of thing, too. That might look good. How that looks. So let's see if when you wet it down, how it looks. I really like that. And I think that would look really cute on my um, bunny. So now I'm going to gruff them up, guys. And I'm just going to use whatever medium 
and I'm going to use my um, twist stick just because I have it here and I like it and I'm going to gruff them up and make them look really cute. So here goes. You can use ink too, whatever, a uh, little bit of dabbing. And I'm thinking, see, if I went a little bit over it and I didn't like it, I could kind of um, wipe away at it, I think. So that's my imagination. That's where my mind's going with it. So I think that's good. Yeah, see, it might be a little dark. I could probably get away with uh, wiping some of that away and looking dungy and grungy without being like a permanent, uh, well, paint, that would be harder to remove, I think. So let's see. See how I can just kind of wipe it away? I like that. I'm gonna dab a little bit in a little bit of moisture here. So I kind of can wipe it away and look a little bit better. And there is my bunny coming a little bit alive. I like that. So he's looking a little bit better. <laughs> I could have um, maybe given him a little bit more of a nose because I kind of didn't stuff that stuffing right in there really good. So I could kind of shape his nose a bit better. Wipe that up a bit better here. There we go. Really nice. I'm liking it. Give him some shape. And I can add different colors. See, he's nice, but he got a little bit more shape. And I could just kind of do more all the way around too. So, and you guys just use whatever you want. Give him his tail. And I'm just using what I have out kind of here and it's working for me. So I know um, Sonia, hickety picky, she tea dyes, I think. She does some kind of dyeing on everything and I think it's the antique it. And I love that. That's where I was saying like I really want to honor her with this project because I just love how she does that. It makes everything look so vintage and so just beautiful. And... I admire that and I cannot um, duplicate anything she's done it's just so pretty um, so I'm like okay I'm going to make a burlap critter burlap I don't know if she has made one out of burlap I've seen different animals cats and boxes I think I looked at her Etsy ages ago what a good friend I am I don't even keep track sorry 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 Sonia you just get so busy and now again with the Oops, that's a lot of water. Wetting and the schmoozing. I'm just going to smooze, schmooze. I put a little bit more into the gruff here on this side just to see the difference if I like it. And I really like it better. So I'm going to do that to the other side. I like the gruff being a little dirty. And I think that suits it. And I really like that look. So there is, he's coming along. I really enjoy him now very much so. So I'm just going to get some gruff dirty here. And I think my bunny is on his way to being done. And that's my bunny, my summer bunny. I know most people make them for spring and stuff, but. 
And I had my mind on this guy for a little while. I'm like, I want to make them today. So there we go. Gotta be. I had a list of things I want to make, and I had to be in the mood for it. Cause I'm crazy that way. I would tell you my list, but that would ruin the surprise. <laughs> there is my Gruffy Bunny. I love him. I think he's almost done. I took my hole punch right here, and it's in a half inch. Oh, can't see. Although I'm just happen to have this little charm here, and so and it fits. I took a little picture of a girl, so it's the bunny's girl, and snipped her face. So now we have a charm for the bunny, and I'll probably put some like. Uh, jewelry pen and gel or something like that on it so it's got a nice glossy finish and I'm gonna let that dry and that's gonna be the picture on that bunny and I might even find another charm to put on this side but of course it probably won't be the same um, I don't <laughs> someone gave me this in happy mail so that is about it guys I hope you like it don't forget to craft like a duck. I'll talk to you guys later. And this is my scruffy bunny. And I hope you guys give it a try. Bye, guys. I'm just going to add that um, I put a little bit of the brown a little bit after all of the twist sticks just around the edges a bit. And I'm putting a little bit of... Um, archival ink on my pad just to get a little bit of grunge on my body. Um, I noticed that like his paws didn't really come out because like I didn't quite I just made little lumps here for his paws so for the next one if I wanted it to be a little bit more detailed I'll have to kind of um, work on that but for this little bit of a burlap project if it was more detailed it wouldn't really suit it anyhow so I'm just kind of grunging him up a little bit more with uh, that archival ink and he really needs to match the edges a little bit so I'm just kind of keeping my eyes on it and doing a little bit of the shapes here that he needs for his feet. So there we go. A little bit of a tail shape there. He's a little bit more gunged up, grunged up, and looking cute. I really would like to find a charm for this side. But that's for now, guys. Hope you like him. And give them a try. Don't forget to craft like a duck. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.